The Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress is an iconic aircraft that played a significant role in World War II. This four-engine heavy bomber was designed by the Boeing Company in the 1930s. Used primarily by the United States Army Air Forces during the conflict, known for its durability, impressive payload capacity, and defensive capabilities, the B-17 has become a symbol of American air power. The development of the B-17 can be traced back to the early 1930s. The United States Army Air Corps sought a new long-range heavy bomber to replace the aging Martin B-10 and Keystone B-6 bombers. In 1934, the United States Army Air Corps issued a request for proposals for a multi-engine bomber capable of carrying a 2,000-pound bomb load over 2,000 miles at speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour. Boeing along with Martin and Douglas submitted proposals. Boeing's design team led by Edward C. Wells and Claremont L. Egvet devised an innovative aircraft called the Model 299. The prototype featured a large, slender fuselage, four engines, a distinctive glass nose for the bombardier, and several 30 caliber machine guns for defense. The Model 299 first took to the skies on July 28, 1935. Tragically, during a demonstration flight on October 30, 1935, the prototype crashed due to a pilot error, killing two crew members. Despite the accident, the United States Army Air Corps was impressed with the Model 299's performance and ordered 13 Y-1B-17s for further evaluation. The first production model, designated the Y-1B-17, featured several changes from the original prototype. Including more powerful engines and increased defensive armament, the aircraft's first flight took place on December 2, 1936. During the testing and evaluation phase, the Y-1B-17 demonstrated impressive performance, leading the United States Army Air Corps to order an additional 10 B-17s. The new model, designated the B-17A, featured more powerful engines, self-sealing fuel tanks, and additional machine guns. The B-17B, first flown in June 1939, introduced several improvements over the B-17A, including an enlarged tail, more powerful engines, and an increased bomb load. The B-17C, which entered service in 1940, featured additional armor plating and self-sealing fuel tanks, as well as a powered tail gun turret. The B-17D, introduced in 1941, added a remotely controlled ventral turret and an upgraded electrical system. The B-17E, which first flew in September 1941, marked a major redesign of the aircraft. This variant boasted a new tailgun assembly with a larger vertical stabilizer and a tail gunner position, significantly enhancing the aircraft's defensive capabilities. The B-17E also had increased bomb load and a more powerful engine arrangement. The B-17F, introduced in 1942, featured additional armor plating, improved engines, and enhanced defensive armament, including the addition of a chin turret. The B B-17G, the most produced variant of the Flying Fortress, made its first flight in August 1943. It included several improvements over the B-17F, such as a redesigned chin turret, improved waist gunner positions, and the introduction of the Cheyenne tail gun position which offered better visibility and accuracy for the tail gunner. The B-17G also had additional armor plating and an upgraded electrical system. In total, there were 12,731 B-17s of all types built between 1936 and 1945. The first B-17s arrived in England in 1942. They were initially deployed with the Royal Air Force Bomber Command for night bombing missions. However, due to poor results and high attrition rates, the United States Army Air Force took over the operations and focused on daylight precision bombing. The B-17 along with the consolidated B-24 Liberator formed the backbone of the United States Army Air Force 
Force's 8th Air Force, the B-17's ability to absorb significant battle damage and still return home became legendary earning it the nickname the Flying Fortress. Established in 1942, the 8th Air Force was the primary United States Army Air Force unit responsible for strategic bombing in Europe. Their first B-17 combat mission was flown on August 17, 1942 against railway marshalling yards in Rouen, France. The United States Army Air Force believed that daylight precision bombing would be more effective than the RAF's night area bombing. B-17s were equipped with a Norden bomb site, which was considered highly accurate at the time. This strategy, however, exposed the bombers to significant risk from German fighter aircraft and anti-aircraft fire. B-17s were deployed in large formations to maximize their defensive firepower. The combat box formation, a staggered arrangement of aircraft, allowed each B-17 to cover the others, creating a defense field of machine gun fire to deter enemy fighters. The B-17 was heavily armed, carrying up to 13 50 caliber machine guns, but this still proved to be insufficient against determined German attacks. The United States Army Air Force suffered heavy losses during 1943 particularly during missions targeting German industrial centers, such as the ball bearing factories at Schweinfurt. The development of long-range escort fighters like the P-51 Mustang eventually provided the necessary protection for B-17s, significantly reducing bomber losses. B-17s played a vital role in preparing for the D-Day landings in 1944, targeting German coastal defenses transportation networks, and airfields. After the Normandy invasions, B-17s continued to support ground forces and target German infrastructure as the Allies advanced across Europe. B-17 bombing raids targeted German military and industrial infrastructure, including aircraft production facilities, oil refineries, ball bearing factories, and rail networks. These attacks weakened Germany's capacity to wage war and forced the Luftwaffe to focus on defensive measures, thus draining their resources. Although less known for its role in the Pacific Theater, the B-17 also served the United States Army Air Forces, 5th and 7th Air Forces. B-17s participated in various missions, including the Battle of Midway and the long-range bombing of Japanese-held islands. However, the B-17 was eventually overshadowed by the longer-range and more versatile B-24 Liberator and the Boeing B-29 Superfortress in the Pacific Campaign. By the end of the war, B-17 crews had flown approximately 290,000 sorties and dropped over 640,000 tons of bombs in the European theater. While the B-17's effectiveness as a strategic weapon is debated, its service record in the European theater remains an important chapter in the history of aerial warfare. After World War II, the B-17 saw limited service with the newly formed United States Air Force. Some B-17s were converted into cargo and transport aircraft, while others were used as drone controllers, target tugs, and weather reconnaissance aircraft. The B-17 was officially retired from the United States Air Force in 1959. Numerous B-17s found new life in civilian roles after the war. Some were converted into firefighting aircraft, while others were used for aerial surveying, cargo transportation, and even MUI production. A small number of B-17s have been restored and are flown as warbirds at air shows and historical events. The B-17 Flying Fortress has become a symbol of American air power during World War II. Its impressive service record and the heroic actions of its crews have been immortalized in books, movies, and television shows. Some of the most recognizable B-17s include the Memphis Belle, 
restored and displayed at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. Memphis Bell is famous for being the first United States Army Air Force heavy bomber to complete 25 combat missions over Europe without a single crew member being killed. Another noteworthy B-17 is Sally B. Europe's last airworthy B-17. Based in the United Kingdom, it is maintained by the B-17 Preservation LTD and operates as a flying tribute to the United States Army Air Force airmen who lost their lives in World War II. The B-17 also played a significant role in the development of strategic bombing doctrine, which influenced the air power strategy during the Cold War and beyond. There are around 50 surviving B-17s with varying degrees of restoration and functionality. Among these, only around 10 are airworthy, while others are on display in museums or are undergoing restoration. As time passes, the number of surviving B-17s continues to dwindle, making these remaining aircraft even more precious as reminders of the sacrifices and achievements of the World War II era. Efforts by various organizations and individuals to preserve and maintain these iconic aircraft ensure that future generations can appreciate their historical significance. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this.